everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Well, today is January 10th, uh, 2020, and I'm here to do a Get Ready With Me video for you guys. I'm going to be using my new Natasha Denona. I just got this in. I got it on clearance um, for $12.50 online on the Sephora website. So I bought that. I've always wanted to try Natasha Denona, but their palettes or her palettes are extremely expensive for me. Um, and then these are $25 originally and they were $12.50. I've heard mixed reviews, uh, really mixed reviews on this one. Actually more not so positive than, than good. But you know what? I wanted to give a try. The colors are really, really nice. And so I did that and I purchased that. The other thing that I wanted to try today was a Smashbox uh, Studio Skin Full Coverage. Um, I did use this today. This, uh, fortunately, you'll see, but the color, I believe it's a little too olive in tone because this is a medium neutral olive tone. I do believe I do need a medium neutral, no olive. Uh, that, those tend to be a little bit too orangey, too warm for me. I'm a very neutral skin tone, so I'm going to go ahead and exchange that. The other thing I picked up was this St uh, Stellar. This is another foundation that I picked up as well. Um, this one is in the color S12. I think that's it. Yeah, S12. There's no other color. So you will see this one in action. Like you can see it right now. I have it on my face. I just think, I'm not sure if these lights are making it look like maybe it is a good shade for me, but in person, it's really, really orange in nature. Really, yeah, it's just a little too olivey for me, but, um, and I'm not sure if I necessarily like it, but anyway, I'll let you see the get ready with me portion of it. And of course, I do use a lot of the products you don't see, but I do use a lot of the products that are in my Project Pan, not Project Pan, Shop My Stash for the next two weeks. I do use a lot of those. And then, of course, my Tartlet in Bloom palette that is a palette palette for 2020. So anyways, I'll go ahead and let you see the get ready with me portion of it. All right, guys, so let's get started. The Smashbox, again, this is in the color 3.02 medium. Uh, undertone is neutral, but it does say olive neutral, which can be a little dark, but we'll see. We'll see. It comes like this. And I always put a dot of the Clarence Booster. There we go. I don't know if you could see my hand, that patch, where that's at. It's dried. I can't, I can't get that. I can't get that on my brush. It's like, it's like in there. <laughs> this thing dries. Oh my God, this thing dries so fast. I cannot, I cannot blend this anymore. So I have a wet sponge here. So let me just let's see if I can get that in there. That's crazy. Wow, it, it doesn't look terribly orange. It's nice. It's, I don't know, it's nice. A little goes a long way though. That's crazy. Full coverage. You don't even have to set this foundation. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I'm going to finish some of my face products and then we'll come back and do the eyes. I look orange. But I don't know. Do I like the finish? I like it. Doesn't look too mattifying. Oh, the other thing I did, I did spray on some MAC um, Fix Plus to it. So to help 
a little bit with it. I thought it would help and I think it did, but um, well, so I'll take that back. All right, let's move on. I'm going to take my Tartlet palette, Tart, my Tart palette, Tartlet in Bloom, it's called. I'm gonna take a Sweetheart, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. My eyelids have been very, very dry. Very, very dry. You know what? No, I did not want to put this all over the lid. Ah, I wanted to take Flower Child. My husband just called me and, and <laughs> anyways, um, Flower Child, which is this one here in the middle and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, he called me because we are uh, headed out of town tomorrow on a date night. We haven't had one in a long time. Um, so today I'm going to make dinner for tomorrow night for the kids. My mom's here, but I have something in mind. And since I had already taken out the meat, I don't want it to go bad. My eyelids are very, very dry, very dry. And I think, I think I kind of know what the culprit is. I think, I'm not sure, um, but they're very dry. This one's, this one especially is extremely dry. All right, now I am gonna take that Sweetheart color and I'm going to put that all over, or, uh, sorry guys, I don't know where I'm at today. Anyways, um, Sweetheart color and I'm gonna put that as a transition shade. Wow, these are very pigmented. So far the colors that I've used have been very nice and easy to blend. So we got that. Now I'm gonna take the Natasha Denona. Uh, look at those colors, those are pretty. Those are really pretty. I haven't heard anything, like the reviews that I've heard on it have not been the best. Um, I don't own any of her palettes. They say that the bigger ones are much, much better than these tiny ones, but for $12.50, um, it'll be fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's a good, a good deal. Right, which one do I want? This color right here, this very first color, I think this is too big. Mm. And I'm just gonna hit the crease with that first, and then I'll see well, well, I, and then I'll see where I take it. So let's go ahead and hit that crease. Wow. Okay, I hardly have any. Oh, let me zoom you in. But I hardly have any product. I mean, I have product, but I hardly have any, like. That's pretty good. That's really good. good. Take it all the way in. Yeah, my eyelids are really, really dry. Um, I'm thinking two possibilities, but I don't. I don't know. It could be this Ulta eye primer that I put on, because this is pretty much done. I'm just trying to squeeze out the bottom, but you know, it could be old, you know what I mean? Could be that. Or unfortunately, the only other thing that I can think of, it's the um, Garnier. The um, Garnier makeup remover. The micellar water. That's the only thing I can think of, because that's... I've always used it, but you know, I always felt like after I use that one, my eyelids get really dry. I think tonight I'll take my makeup off with coconut oil.
that is not an easy color to work with. Um, it's not. I think, though, I cannot blend this darn color for nothing. I think, in all fairness, I think it has to do with my dry eyelid because they're extremely dry. Extremely dry. But I have applied and applied and applied. And I cannot get that eye right here to blend in. And it is patchy as heck. I don't know if that's coming up. Again, this is the eye that's dry. Real, they're both dry, but this one is 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 like the Sahara Desert, dry. And I'm having such a hard time. Such a hard time. I have packed this color on and I cannot get it to up, you know, to put on to go on evenly in the eye and I cannot get it to blend evenly at all. Um again, I don't want to say it's the shadow and you can really tell the difference. You could see the like the jump skips on this part right here. You could see that. That's why I, I'm not, you know, I don't want to fault the shadow at all. I just, I don't think that, uh, you know, right now that would be fair to do because of my eyelid. So there's nothing I can do right now. The colors, it's really, it's like a very soft powder. Okay, let's just move on from the shadow. Let's go back into that one. Or let's go into that one. I have some on my pencil brush and I will just hit the outside with it. Yeah, this one definitely smoothed out a little bit better. Definitely. So I'm going to go into, um, well, I'm not going to get any more product, but um, this is the one that had, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Sweetheart from the Tarte palette. I'll just put a little bit, just a little bit more, just to buff out everything here at the top and around here. All right. I'm going to go into now this really pretty, this is uh, dual chrome. It looks like it's dual chrome because I, if I look at it at a certain angle, it's got a lot of blue and then purple, this one here. It goes from like a really pretty blue to like a purple. And we'll put that in the middle. That is a pretty, pretty color here. Let me give you a swatch. It matches my shirt. That's a really pretty color. Really nice. Wow. It's not going nice on my lid, but I, again, I think I know why. I'm pretty sure I know why. Wow, that's really pretty. Go back into that, this color right here. Oh, these have names. Poison Berry. Is that that one? Raisin, Delilah, Flint. So this one's called Flint. So I'll go back into Flint. This one's called Raisin. Raisin. So I'll go back into uh, Flint. All right, 
Let's blend that out. Take my finger. Doesn't really want to go on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put the liner, mascara, and then we'll see how it is. Come back, we'll do the bra bone color and then the inner color and see. See how this all has turned out. I had to put this on, this one on top because I'm cold. I mean, this is not keeping me terribly warm, but it is freezing in my house. All right. Um, yeah, there is that. Let's go ahead and um, I think I'm going to go into the Tarte palette and I'm going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and take Funny Girl, which is this color right here. In the Natasha Denona, it's, it actually has that color, sort of similar color in there. So let's go ahead and use that. Um, take this, no, let's take this one. It's better. And uh, put a little bit here. That is nice. That is nice. I love that color. But you could even see. I'll get close, but you're gonna see even in that area, it's 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 clinging to everything. The other day, I did a look, an eye look for you guys, with this palette right here. And you could just see everything cling to that. I'm gonna go ahead and take that same color. I'm gonna go in the center. Right there. Now I'm going to take that same. No, let's go ahead and take this one here. We're going to go back into the De Natasha Denona color uh, palette. And I'm going to take. Hmm, I like this one, but. I'm gonna go with a little a safer one, which was, this one was Raisin. And we're going to put that on the, at the bottom. And now I'm going to take the Tarte, or yeah, Tarte Tight Line. I don't know if this is in waterproof or what, because this can be a little difficult to get off to at night. I think that is it. I'm gonna scoot you in so you could see the eye look really, really good. Again, keep in mind my eyelids are extremely dry. And that's it guys, that is it. That is my eye look. I'm gonna go this weekend and I'm gonna go ahead and exchange the foundation. I could already see it clinging. Right here, I could see it clinging. Is it? Hmm. not sure anyways my friends that is it that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all very very soon bye